no. Not this again. What? They know they're losing too many trees. And yet they continue to do this. Ah, oh, it's just those noisy, smelly humans. It's going to be getting a lot hotter around here, you know. What are you talking about? I wish they didn't have to do that. That, that was our home. By, by cutting down the trees, we are not only losing our home, they are releasing carbon dioxide into the air. Huh? What? What just happened? What are you talking about? I've been learning some interesting facts about climate change. The temperature is getting warmer due to the build-up of an invisible blanket of greenhouse gases in the air that trap the heating. What are green mouse, um, greenhouse masses? Greenhouse gases? Well, there are quite a few gases that naturally occur in the air, and these trap in the heat and keep our planet warm. Without them, the entire world would be frozen. Come. Imagine this car is like the planet. The windows of the car act like the extra greenhouse gases in the air. They let the sunlight and heat in, but stop some of it getting out. If we close the windows, it gets a lot hotter because more heat gets trapped inside. Hey! Those flying foxes are stealing that ute! Get out of it! Woo! But you said green mouse. I mean, greenhouse gases are naturally occurring. Yes, but the human activities have increased the amount of greenhouse gases that are in the air. They are always busy rushing around in their cars, boats, and planes. Those machines burn fossil fuel in their engine, and burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide. Humans also light up their cities and towns at night Lights use electricity, and most electricity is generated by burning fossil fuels. Huh? F fossil fuels? What are they? Fossil fuels are the remains of forests and other plant life that broke down millions of years ago. Over a very long period of time, they slowly turned into coal, oil and gas. Humans extract these fossil fuels so they can burn them to make energy that runs their machines. Carbon is the main ingredient in fossil fuels. When fossil fuels are burnt, carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, is released into the air. This carbon was once safely stored under the ground, but now the humans are releasing too much. That's shocking! Do you know that there are 7 billion humans in the world today? And 255 babies are born every minute. All those people eat a lot of food, so they are busy cutting down forests to make way for farms. There are now over 1.5 billion cows on the planet, and these cows also burp and fart a lot of greenhouse gases. These greenhouse gases build up an invisible layer in the air like a blanket, and this blanket is becoming thicker and thicker. The carbon dioxide layer traps the sun's heat and reflects it back to Earth. This process is called the greenhouse effect. It is causing the planet to heat up and the climate to change. What's so bad about global warming anyway? I like the warm weather. It gets warmer everywhere, not just here. So polar ice that's usually frozen will melt and cause the sea level to rise. A lot of coastal land will go underwater and the lowlands will be flooded with salt water, especially during storms and big tides. Whoa! Wait! There's no need to panic. The sea is rising but too slowly for you to notice. It's more like watching a tree grow. It will take a long time. However, by the time you are my age, it will have flooded many places that are on land today. I need a drink.
The rising sea will turn the water salty in the low-lying areas, which will make it very hard for plants to grow and to find a drink. Oh, yuck! And you're not the only one who likes warmer weather. It allows more pests to thrive like, like mosquitoes, and they spread diseases like malaria and dengue. Those people who live in the highlands didn't have to worry much about these diseases. But in the future, they'll have to watch out. It will be a lot harder to get food like this if the planet heats up and the climate changes. Droughts may become more common and more severe. And when the dry spells end, we will get heavier than usual rain. These bigger rains and intense storms can cause floods and damage to crops and homes. Silt carried by the flooding rivers can smother marine life. And warmer water temperature can kill coral, causing our reefs to suffer, making it harder to catch fish. So what are those humans cutting down the trees got to do with global warming and climate change? Well, carbon dioxide, or CO2, is invisible, like the air we breathe out. One of its parts, the carbon, is the main building block of life. All life on Earth is made of carbon, even you, the people, and the trees. Trees are like the lungs of the Earth. They take in carbon dioxide through their leaves and store it as carbon inside their wood and roots. But when a tree or forest is cut down, the carbon is released into the air. This happens very quickly if the tree is burnt and slowly if it is left to decay. It's simple. The more trees we allow to grow, the more carbon dioxide is removed from the air. The more we cut down, the more carbon dioxide is released into the air and less CO2 can be stored. Trees are really important to you and me and the whole world. If only people could recognise their true value more often. We should do something about this. We should take action. Here's some seeds for the next generation. Let's review the greenhouse effect and climate change. Invisible greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide are released when humans burn fossil fuels and clear land for farming. The gases build up in the air, forming an invisible blanket that traps the heat in, causing the earth to heat up and the climate to change. Forests play an important role in removing carbon dioxide from the air. They are the lungs of the earth. Stopping climate change is important because of the risks it poses to our coastal communities, health and our food security. <laughs>